That's it. Who, nobody else, right? Yeah. Nobody else. Nobody's ever won a belt three times, but Randy, he's the only one. So I'd tie one of the great ones. How much better of a fighter do you think you've become, you know, since you first won the title? I mean, you know, oh. if you fought that guy now, how would it I've come leaps and bounds since the first time I won the title against Rico. Um, something I like to do is I always try to improve my game. You know, I become a faster uh, fighter. I become a more powerful fighter, uh, more agile, better on the ground back then than I am. You know, now it's night and day, no doubt about it. How about all the experiences you've been through too? Like the, you know, the fight with Randy mentally. I mean, they had to toughen you up because it maybe exposed some things that you needed to work on, right? Oh, I mean, sure. I got my ass kicked for 25 minutes. Did that make a so, difference in terms of helping you come back from that? You yeah, know, you know, I think it does. You know, it, it was a humbling experience. Um, you know, not everyone can go out there and get beat up and then come back and win the next fight. You know, it, it, Gonzaga just showed that. You know, he was a stud. He was wrecking people, and then Randy beat him up, and he comes back and. Well, this is a fight that he should have won, you know. Um, way back in the day, I lost two in a row. And then I came back and I went on a, I don't know, five, six, seven fight winning streak, you know. And then uh, it was like what happened, you know, as fortunate as Granger was, he, uh, he beat me up and took the belt again. Just happens in the sport and just shows you what kind of fighter you are, I believe, when you can come back from a loss like that, you know, especially that's the first time I truly feel like I'm my ass kicked. Frank Mir, when he broke my arm, I think it was a freak accident. Just got lucky. Um, Alosky. Unestimated the first time, just came back from my arm break way too soon to be fighting a guy like Olaski. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I really didn't want to fight that fight. I fought it anyway, and uh, it was a way out. He got my ankle, I heard it pop three times, and I quit. You know, instead of uh, if my arm hadn't broken prior to that fight, I probably would have fought through it, you know, but I just looked for an easy way out and said, okay, that's it. You had visions kind of mentally of the same thing happening that happened to your arm? Yeah, well, you know, I felt my arm break, I heard it pop three times, and I knew he broke it. Yeah. And, um, it didn't bother me, I didn't care, but then when I fought Olaski, I was just like, I know what it was like having a broken arm and being sat out. I can't imagine somebody like having a broken ankle or a broken foot and being sat out, you know? You can get around with a, with a broken arm, but I don't want to wobble around with crutches. In your own mind, if you win the title, will it have an asterisk until you fight Randy again because you know he didn't actually lose the title? Yeah, that, I really don't even know how to think that or word that, to be honest with you. Um, I don't know what's going on with Randy. He. Uh, He's got a contract obligation, and he chooses not to fill it. He was given the fight against Nagar, and he wouldn't take it. So guess what? I'll take it. Mm -hmm. So they're going to reward the winner as a champion. You know, it's not my fault Randy won't take the fight. Um, is it my fault that, you know, it's an interim title or whatever? I don't really care. You know, uh, if I win the belt, basically I get the golden ticket. Mm -hmm. One or two things are going to happen. Randy's going to man up, come back and fill his contract, him and I'll fight, or they'll strip him, and then I'll become the... Uh, the technical champion, you know, whatever happens. I guess I asked you because, you know, what GSP did, where he said, he put the belt on, say, hey, I'm you not... You know, that's a different circumstance, because, because, you know, Matt's injured, Matt was hurt. That, that's different circumstances, I believe. Mm -hmm. um, th you know, th this, it's, it's two different situations, I believe, and uh, I don't know what's going on with Randy, and I, I don't think you'll see what's going on with Randy. You know, right. it's, in, it's in the law's hands now, from what I understand, lawyers are dealing with it, and we'll figure out what's going on probably six months to a year. But, you know, Nog has been such a, a good fighter for, for so many years. Oh, Outstanding, amazing. When you go back and you look at some of the, and you alluded to it on the conference call the other day, the uh, Pride heavyweights haven't done necessarily as well since they've come to the UFC. Um, you know, even he struggled in the one fight, I know, <coughs> against Heath Herring. But what, why, can you put your finger on why that is? And, you know, uh, and, and is he, uh, you, know, you know, better than those other guys? Or? Um, he's definitely better than all the other guys that have come over so far. He's the number one pride guy to come over, I believe. Um, it's a shell shock. The cage is a shell shock. You're caged in. Uh, the rounds are different. The time change. The crowd's totally different. They maybe have 70,000 fans over there. Mm -hmm. We only have 20,000. Our 20,000 is a hell of a lot louder than their 70,000. Right. And uh, you start hearing the crowd boo, and, and some guys don't know how to react to that. They're like, oh my god, I'm losing. I gotta step up. I gotta, I gotta do something. Make mistakes. You know, It's a mental thing. Um, over here, they tested. Everyone's tested. Over there, they weren't. Um, over there, um, they were given a lot of them were given out bean bags and tomato cans just to, uh, you know, pad their record and stuff like that. Over here, it doesn't happen. Every time, you know, every time I've I've always had a top ten contender. Every time I fought, right. Know. Well, do you look at like you know? There's this mystique surrounding Fedor, and you know he hasn't fought in the UFC, so everybody fought about anybody it. in the last three years. Yeah, and so I was gonna say, I mean, do you kind of feel like that you know that he's being overrated just simply because of you know the the pride? Uh, I think today he's overrated. Yes, was he overrated then? No, right. but 
like I said, in three years, he hasn't fought anybody. You know, how can you keep that status when you haven't fought anybody? You just fought a guy that's had two fights. Mm -hmm. um, the fight before that, I, I don't know who he fought. I mean, the only tough guys I know he's fought is, is you know, it's Krokop and, and Nagara. And, uh, you know, I don't even know if he fought. He didn't even fight Bryant, so I, I don't know. I mean, I think if uh, I beat Nagara, it puts him and I in a tie for first place. Sure. How about, um, Knox said, you know, the fact that he fought Semi Schilt and a guy of, you know, similar build you know, to you, that, you know, that kind of makes him ready to take on somebody your size. Do you think he surprised himself if he believes that? I hope he believes that. I really do. Um, I think he's Semi and I are two different types of fighters. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's a little taller than me, but we, uh, we fight differently. How's the uh, training camp going for this fight? Training camp's done. It's all done. Who's holding you prepare? Um, uh, sure, and Steve, and Teddy, and Pat, all the guys back at uh, Team MFS. I had uh, Gary Shaw come in, and the meat drop out of Cincinnati. He's a big, strong heavyweight, good grappler. So, um, 12 weeks, you know, my conditioning coach, Kevin, and Gen Z, we were doing all that conditioning, swimming, biking, running in the mornings and stuff. So, uh, I'm confident with this, uh, with this camp and uh, looking forward to shining on Saturday. You know, Tim, you never, you know, been one to necessarily care about, you know, how the fans view your performance and everything. And you mentioned booing. Um, you know, I've been places where people have been relentless, um, you know, public places where they just, you know, voice their opinions about you and you always conduct yourself in a stand up, you know, manner and you always, you know, put off a very, you know, uh, humble approach. You know, talk about how you deal with stuff like that, especially being a former two time champion. I just think it's kind of funny. Yeah. You know, I just kind of laugh at those guys and. The guys that are booing, you know, there's half a dozen that are booing and there's thousands that are cheering. Thousands that are cheering get to laugh at the guys that are booing's face after I win because I usually win all my fights. So, you know, I, I've, been, I've been blessed with uh, being an underdog so many times and getting to prove people wrong and growing up with a rough childhood and proving people wrong. So uh, I, just, I just get to go out there and stick it to the man once again. Well, based on your last performance versus uh, Barra and, you know, Knox's performance versus um, Herring, why are you still considered the underdog, do you think? Uh, rankings. I think he's ranked number two, and I'm ranked number four or something, four or five, six, I don't know. I do know he's ranked number two, so, uh, but rankings don't mean crap. Um, I don't know, you know, I, I, I will not, do not expect the same Nagara to show up Saturday night as the last Nagara. You know, he got rid of some ring rust, and, uh, um, he's got a lucky kick off, whatever. That same Nagara will not show up. If it does, I'll have an easy night, but I don't expect that. You've already proven yourself against a world-class grappler when you fought in Monson, albeit there's a huge height difference there, but in terms of caliber, they're both really great grapplers. Does Nagira really pose that much of a threat to you on the ground? Are you worried about it at all? I'm not worried about it. I'm not worried about any fight I take. Um, I think that's his best chance of winning the fight. I mean, if, if, if Nagira is going to win this fight, it will be on the ground. You know, um, that's, I mean, you know, for me to win this fight, I'm going to do a standing up or drop him with a punch or a kick or whatever and jump on him and finish him. It's just, you know, I'm a stand-up fighter, he's a ground fighter. He's never knocked anybody out in his day. It was a career, I believe. Would you, would you want to use too many kicks because with, you know, him, if you kick, obviously it's easier for him to get you done. That would, yeah, wouldn't absolutely. it be to his, uh, his advantage? Um, it all depends on the situation. You know, I'm not going to go out there and not kick. I don't want uh, to let him kick, mm -hmm. you know. Um, I think I have high enough kicks where you know, I sling one to his head. He's in the back without being, you know, uh, come watering in. Your, your kick against uh, uh, Trey uh, Tellyman, I think that was one at the Hard Rock, right? You knocked him out with a kick to the head, if I remember. I think it was MGM or Mandalay. Yeah, yeah. It I mean, was him. I don't know where it was at. Somewhere here in Vegas. Yeah. And, I mean, was that kind of like the, the kick of your life where, you, you know, it seemed like a perfectly placed high? Uh, I mean, it wasn't a fight. I've done that in practice a few times. But um, it was definitely, you know, it was a highlight reel, definitely. Yeah, that was a good one. <laughs> and Trey's too. Both of you guys have a really strong clinch game. And you're working a bit of it uh, today. Um, that, that fight probably won in the clinch. What, what are you bringing into this, this fight that is going to prove otherwise that your clinch is better than his? Bigger, stronger, more powerful. Um, you know, I'm going to have 20, 25 pounds on him. I'm going to have four inches on him. Um, I'm going to have a stronger wrestling background than he does. So, um, I've utilized my knees a lot. I've knocked guys out with my knees. So, uh, you know, I, I think it's, it's a proven fact that my knees do work well in fights. 